now I'm just getting things uh, set up uh, for a day of sculpting and uh, I'm going to be working on Captain Lovewell and uh, to try to get as far as I can today before I have to quit and uh, let's see what we can do. I got one email I've got to read right now and uh, I'm going to do that first because it's from uh, the artist back east who uh, I've been working or collaborating with on this because he's doing a painting for uh, John Lovewell of Captain John Lovewell so um, I'm gonna put a sign up for those of you who watch me live on camera um, that's the reason I, I have these signs is so I can actually uh, work off camera and you'll know that I'm doing that and then I will be back so I just gotta stick it on there so people can see it if you want to watch me on my uh, blog whoop, that ain't staying up there is it if you want to watch me live uh, while I work on my clays which is usually between 1 o'clock and 2 4 o'clock in the afternoon um, you can tune into my uh, blog at uh, a day in the life of a lemon dot blogspot dot com so right now as this stands it's 38 inches tall, and uh, I at some point need to figure out how I'm going to uh, make the base on this thing. But for now, I'm just going to start his face and his upper body.
I'm going to be uh, working on his legs right now. Um, just been sketching in the uh, upper part. Uh, somebody asked me online uh, what kind of clay I use, and uh, it's a JMAC clay. I've, I'm putting up the uh, name of it on the uh, video. The uh, clay is uh, a medium clay that I order. You can, I guess you can get hard and soft. I prefer medium. I don't like uh, too soft or too hard. And, uh, of course, after they outlaw tungsten light bulbs and I can't soften my clay up anymore because I can't get the right light bulbs, I may have to switch to soft clay, which will be a disaster because that's just harder to work with. But uh, just go online, do a little Google search, and you'll find where you, you can get the uh, clay. Uh, got too much stuff on this little tiny table, and I need to move it. And uh, it's uh, I get a 50-pound box here locally uh, at the foundry, but it's uh, it's about 168 bucks for 50 pounds. It's gone up in price. I'm not sure why, but. Maybe shipping costs because of oil costs and because of uh, taxes and everything else that are being reapplied. I'm sorry, I'm getting a little on the political side here, and I don't want to do that. So, anyway, I'm going to get back to work um, on his legs. I've been on the phone with uh, an artist friend and uh, another artist friend uh, for about the last um, well, 45 minutes or so. It's cut into my time, so I'm just uh, going to try to make up the time for a few minutes anyway. All right, I'm going to get back to work. I just uh, want to let you know that uh, right now on my uh, live streaming uh, vid uh, camera on my blog, which I'll have a link to in the description below, um, I have people from Germany. Uh, I had somebody from uh, Brazil or, or down in that area, um, somebody from Decatur, Illinois, or near, near Decatur. Um, watching me at the moment sculpting and uh, it's kind of cool to know that somebody from another country or another state is uh, able to watch me work and uh, or not work <laughs> the nice thing is they, they make these armatures with the uh, hip bones and, uh, and all the uh, points of uh, where the uh, muscle connects and boy I'll tell you if you're learning how to sculpt by doing muscle by muscle. These armatures are just spectacular for that. My clay is moving just a little. Well, that's because this isn't anchored. <clears throat> yeah, I haven't got a lot of clay around it right yet. All right, that's gonna be it.